viewers, welcome to our channel for Tech Talks. I'm Anne-Marie. And I am Tim. And we are engineers with the technical support of Penta Rafmans in the Netherlands. And today we will Tech Talk on how to calibrate the CO2 gehaltometer. The gehaltometer measures CO2 content in a carbonated product, like beer, soft drinks and mixtures. And based on Henry's law, we measure the temperature and the pressure and with the CO2 formula integrated in the meter, the CO2 value is measured. And therefore, it is of course important that the meter measures a correct pressure and temperature. Well, let's begin. How we do that? What do we need? We need a thermometer. We use a digital one and a prison gauge, like the gauge calibration device. But when we go on the service job, we have the small precision gauge with us. Further, the calibration board from the service set and air supply to create the calibration pressure. And also a big screwdriver. Well, for reading, letting reading the meter uh, actual values, we switch on the meter by pressing the enter button for three seconds. And switch once again to get access in the main menu. We scroll back down to the calibration menu and further on we scroll down to the service menu. And there we read the actual values. When opening the plunger, you can read if the meter already measures approximately zero bar. For temperature check, you can run water through the meter via the inlets and measure with your thermometer on the outlet and check the value you read from the meter match with the value of your reference meter. But also the Hoffman's digital thermometer has a thin diameter and we can use the opening for the pressure calibration and take off the black PVC screw. When the meter is filled with water, the tip of the temperature probe of the meter touches the water. And we try to put in the thin thermometer near the tip of the temperature probe of the meter. And we watch if the temperature of the meter matches the value we read on our certified digital thermometer. Okay, when that is fine, then we are ready for the pressure check. Now we remove the liquid from the measurement chamber, like this. And we take out the calibration screw. And we put the calibration adapter in it. We already, for this video, have mounted on the calibration board a PVC hose for easy connection to our calibration pressure. Let's check what the pressure does read in the service screen with the handle open and the pressure sensor is open to atmospheric. It reads zero bar, so that's fine. I'm closing the handle lever and now connect the two bar pressures on it. You always can use one bar. I just need to know how we compare it to a reference device. Now we compare the, the pressures again. So the, you can see the pressure is the same as what we have on the calibration device. So that's fine. Okay, that seems fine. But what can we do when we have doubts on the calibration? The, first of all, the temperature sensor cannot be recalibrated. Okay, so then when that is out of range, then we have to replace and let's repair the instrument. Yes, indeed. And the pressure? The pressure sensor can be calibrated. Okay. Um, we go back in the service menu. And navigate to calibration pressure. Start the calibration with adjusting today's atmospheric pressure in the calibration menu. When not having okay. a barometer present, you also can find today's pressure on your weather online. 
We can read it on our on our own small precision, precision gauge. gauge. So it reads 1022. So we put 1022. And press enter. Then to calibrate the zero point, open the plunger with the handle. And now the measurement chamber and the pressure sensor inside are fully open to atmospheric pressure. And you enter 0, 0.0 bar. Now the high point is selected. Close the plunger and connect the precision manometer to get pressure a set of two bar on the galvanometer and enter the exact pressure value read from the manometer. So we have two bars. Okay. We enter. Okay. And when the calibration succeeded, the instrument automatically returns to the main menu. When all seems fine, remove the calibration board from the measurement chamber and replace it with a standard PVC screw again. Okay, thank you viewers. We hope you enjoyed and found it useful showing you how to calibrate and check temperature and, me and pressure. That are important measurements to obtain correct C2 results. When you have questions left, please contact us via the link of this video. And when you want to see more of us, please browse for more videos on our Tech Talk channel. Thank you for your attention. Bye, and Bye. don't forget to like us. <laughs>